My work will be a combination of elements. I'm making an animation which is episodic, which tells the story of the elderly woman performing the trials of Hercules. I'm making a very large painted silk hanging on recycled silk, uh, which describes a ruined landscape in which the elderly woman has to survive. And I'm making three-dimensional work, which is a figure of the elderly woman who has um, skin, which is elderly skin, which is shaped into a kind of armour. So she's like a, a survivor who is protected by her experience. I, I hadn't imagined that I would win it. I hadn't allowed myself to imagine that. And I was on my own and I received a letter to tell me that I'd won. And I think I had to read the letter about five times to <laughs> believe that it was true. But it was uh, really exciting because it was something that I really, really hoped, I think, uh, that I might win, but um, the reality of it took a while to sink in. The idea for the work came out of a strange fascination I had for the Klimt painting because in some ways I identified with the elderly woman because she has the same hair as me. And I thought, she looks like a projection, a future projection, which disturbed me, but also fascinated me. So I already had that interest as a starting point. But then the more I investigated what I would like to do with the elderly woman as a protagonist, the more I realised that this could be a really um, complicated but interestingly structured project. Having a year-long project was really amazing because it allowed me to explore my ideas in depth and to really open out my thinking um, and concentrate. I think the experience of the residency has completely changed my, it's changed my work because it's opened up a lot of different ways of making and thinking. But also the experience has changed me because I have been open to um, so many new influences, so many new experiences. I've learned so much and I've really changed my point of view. Um, there are many, many reasons why, but it's been a really wonderful, productive experience and it really has affected my thinking greatly. When I was growing up, my mum had a knitting machine that she set up in the living room in our house. And she was always making something on her knitting machine and I wasn't allowed to use it. But I used to look at what she was making and think that it was really interesting. And also I used to think 
that I'd like to try to use this machine. L'artista vincitrice del premio ha chiesto di imparare a fare la maglia, quindi noi siamo stati scelti come produttori di maglieria e soprattutto abbiamo una scuola specializzata proprio per insegnare la maglia. And so in the back of my mind I had probably quite a lot of knowledge about what different knitted surfaces look like or the potential of knitting. And I also had a desire to be able to use this type of machine myself. So when I thought about developing my work, I realized that this was the right moment to be able to not only extend my practice in a way that would be useful, but also to uh, be able to do the thing that I'd imagined doing when I was a kid. Uh, that I, I always felt was just a bit out of reach. La maglieria è un, uh, un luogo di incontro di uh, manualità, artigianalità, tecnologia, ma c'è tantissima ricerca e innovazione. E forse una delle, del tessile che negli ultimi vent'anni ha fatto un salto da gigante. Ci sono queste macchine meravigliose che sono computerizzate che possono incrociare ogni tipo di filo che ha fatto sì che la maglieria diventasse questa, questo, questo gioco che eh, unisce tecnica a creatività. Uh, Modoteca is really amazing, it's really fascinating for me because I'm able to look at a lot of examples of the potential of uh, the knitted surface and I'm able to think about how I could apply that to my own work. Moda Teca de Anna è un centro internazionale di documentazione moda che nasce ormai 15 anni fa ed è una costola di, del Malficio Mesdanna un luogo dove eh, si sono create moltissime collezioni, moltissimi capi che eh, legavano eh, la tradizione, l'innovazione, la sperimentazione nella maglieria. Quindi Modateca con gli archivi di Miss De Anna è nata per dare un luogo a chiunque si occupa di maglieria. Knitting is a very versatile material because the, the yarns can be so different and they can do such different things that really you can make a, a very experimental surface. So knitting has this huge potential for me and it is a, a way of working that I've imagined but I've never been able to realise properly. So that's why I'm really excited about it. Emma, l'artista, si sta specializzando intanto cominciando ad imparare quali sono le basi della maglia, poi insegneremo a lei quali sono le tecniche, quindi cominceremo dal, dai punti particolari, dalle trecce, cioè dalle, proprio dalle basi della maglieria, poi lei li, li adopererà come, come vuole. Sarà maglia, ma sarà maglia un po' speciale, è un'arte, quindi voglio dire sarà una maglia particolare, penso, perché ha tantissime qualità e quindi vedrà la maglieria con un aspetto diverso e questo è estremamente interessante. While I've been in Reggio Emilia I've been able to um, develop my understanding of knitwear in the workshop using the knitting machines but I've also been able to visit lots of different companies in the area to see all of the different processes and potentials for the knitted surface and that's been really fascinating.
thing about Sicily is that it is a container for a really deep history. So it has a kind of mythical past, a prehistoric past, which is still evident today. That there are all these dynamics and forces in the place that they, they coexist and it feels like Sicily has provided so many different perspectives that can feed into uh, the way I develop the work I make. Diciamo nel periodo subito successivo all'arrivo di Emma a Catania eh, ci siamo subito spostati in diversi luoghi della Sicilia e quello che è avvenuto è che diciamo, c'è stato un momento di eh, molta concentrazione di, di visite, di spostamenti e quindi come dire, un momento molto intenso in cui lei ha avuto tutta una serie di suggestioni decided to be as open as I could in the residency and to really try to experience as much as I could while I was here. And I felt like I found so many things that are significant to me that I couldn't have anticipated. It's actually been affirmed by this period of time that, that there's something about the landscape, something about the sites that I visited that really are profoundly important to developing the project. Quando Emma è arrivata alla casa di Paglia, l'incontro è stato per me bellissimo. È stato per me molto interessante trovare tantissime affinità nel modo di sentire, anche se proveniamo da contesti molto diversi ed esperienze anche formative diverse. I was really keen to visit a permaculture site in Sicily and I think I was really lucky to be able to go to Casa di Paglia where the site is on the base of Mount Etna, so it's a really special place. La permacultura è un metodo di progettazione che si basa tantissimo sull'osservazione. Cioè, prima di inter intervenire in un luogo, è importante osservare, osservare tantissimi fattori e osservarti tu all'interno di questo luogo, perché non, non prevede ricette fisse che già da applicare semplicemente. The principles of permaculture are really interesting to me and I was able to not only experience at first hand some of the practices in the per permaculture site but also to understand through a kind of conversation, through sharing, um, how these principles of permaculture are not only interesting for um, development of agriculture but they can be applied to life, to a, a kind of way of living, a way of thinking. Dai principi che ho usato in questo periodo maggiormente è il problema e la soluzione. Non disperarsi se succede qualcosa, ma trovare la soluzione all'interno del problema o guardare al problema se si presenta come proprio già la tua soluzione, la tua opportunità. L'unica regola che c'è in permacultura è di prendersi la propria responsabilità e anche questo mi piace molto. Era la prima volta che ospitavamo una residenza d'artista e ci ha lasciato una visione, eh, non so come posso dire, più eterea, forse perché ci ha permesso anche di stare anche noi in un'osservazione diversa. Non so sotto che forma, non, non, però ehm, dopo aver avuto questo contatto sarà una traccia importante nel nel suo progetto, all'interno del suo lavoro. And so this experience has been able to give me the information that is really valuable to describe the kinds of processes or activities that this woman would be um, doing and using 
uh, in trying to build a way of living that means that we have a kind of sense of human ongoingness in the future. But for me, making artwork is a really useful way of thinking through how you could perceive change and then imagine it happening. And hopefully that pushes towards some real change. I'm attracted to the graphic imagery of Etruscan pottery. The way that the figures are drawn by many different artisans but they have this very uniform character is really interesting to me and the language of that type of graphic imagery is really powerful. So I wanted the female figure to go back into the past to restructure power systems or structures of power. Il Museo Nazionale Etrusco di Villa Giulia nasce nel 1889 in uno dei luoghi più incantevoli dell'architettura rinascimentale, Villa Giulia, la Villa dei Piaceri di Papa Giulio III. Siamo alla metà del Cinquecento, ha realizzato un luogo di incanto che poi è diventato lo scrigno più importante al mondo che racconta l'arte degli etruschi attraverso le opere, alcune delle opere più rappresentative. My knowledge of Hercules was really that I knew that he'd performed the 12 labors of Hercules. I knew what they were, but I hadn't really, it, it was like a skeletal understanding. Um, and part of the research in the residency has been to fill in the spaces, you know, the things that I didn't know about Hercules. La figura di Eracle, come ogni mito, si è prestata ad essere manipolata. Chi ha voluto porre l'accento sulla sua potenza, sulla sua forza, chi invece sul momento in cui le sue imprese sono finite ha avuto la sua apoteosi e il trionfo venendo accolto fra gli dei. Emma ha voluto ragionare su questo, ha voluto vedere attraverso un filtro opposto quello che è l'immagine di un uomo declinandolo in una veste femminile. When I was researching the 12 trials, I could see that each one was a kind of collage of historical battle or a, or a um, conflict between different groups of people. In the telling of the myths of Hercules, the conflicts are resolved very aggressively. And for me, in addressing them and thinking about how they might be resolved by this female character that I've chosen in a way that isn't aggressive. Emma ha voluto cogliere qualcuno di questi simboli per reinterpretarli al femminile, per provare a raccontarci la storia di una donna che agisce o interpreta quelle che sono le sfide interpretate da Eracle. So I decided that the elderly figure would perform the 12 trials of Hercules. And instead of performing them in the way that Hercules did, using this kind of aggression, which is the kind of um, power story, the hero story, that we're very used to hearing, I thought an elderly woman would approach those trials very differently those problems, she might think about them very, very differently, more patiently, more empathetically.
accompagnare Emma ha significato in molti casi vedere attraverso i suoi occhi quello che io ero abituato a vedere con i miei. È stato un modo per vedere da una prospettiva diversa anche cose con le quali avevo una grande familiarità. I think best through making my work. So when I begin to um, exercise my ideas through material making, through drawing, through thinking about sequences of animation, through painting, through materiality of uh, three-dimensional making. I can begin to understand how I can convey uh, information to an audience, to others. And for me, that's, it's really important to now turn over my ideas into physical manifestations, into artworks to see how I can um, share the things that I've gathered on the residency, how that they can become something that's a, a story that is um, articulated to others.